Oh no, she didn't. What? I don't even think so. I can't believe. Mm, what? No. If you feel any of these things, you're in the right place. Sometimes people are just yucky. It's true. Just yesterday, I wrote about that there are some people out there that they want to be, make things hard for you. Okay? Maybe they're being slow intentionally. Maybe they're being stingy. Maybe they're being uncooperative. Maybe they're doing even nastier things. I've never been one to give a shout out to the haters, but we all know what that means and we all have felt that experience. Haters suck. But guess what? The only revenge you'll ever need is to keep your head up. Here's how to do that in a challenging situation. When that person is just trying to diss you, hurt you, disrespect you, whether they're doing it consciously or not, here's how to snap out of it. Because ultimately, we control our thoughts. We control our destiny. We control the energy that we put into what's important to us. Now, of course, we're all human. We have feelings. And when people do things like that, it hurts or makes us angry. But this is what we can do. This is a master move, okay? And at first it might seem totally silly. But if you stick with me, I promise you that this works. It works immediately and it has these awesome effects that just kind of reverberate out into the universe pretty magically. So here it is. So-and-so is doing whatever they're doing and you're feeling icky about it, okay? What you're gonna do is you're going to take that in for just a tiny second, okay? We're not talking about ruminating in the story. Mm -mm -mm -mm. You ain't got time for that, honey. You're just too much of an awesome person, champion, winner. But you're gonna take that in, and then you're going to get your revenge like this. You're gonna stomp it out. You're gonna shake it off. You're gonna brush your shoulder off. Mm -hmm. You're gonna, I don't think so, you're gonna dance a roll. You're gonna shoulder brush it off. I know it sounds ridiculous, right? But here's the key. When you think about that moment and immediately change into something that's silly or ridiculous or even just kind of celebrating, you're no longer thinking about that dumb issue. You're maybe even thinking about that issue, but you're instantly flipping it. And that's what's important because your mind, your thoughts become the things in your life. You don't want that. So what's going to happen is someone irritated you or whatever, and you're just going to be like, Tch. maybe you want to do a little silly dance. Maybe you want to brush your shoulder off. Mm -mm. Maybe you want to, yesterday in my post, I said boomerang, because let's face it, that's what karma is. What we put out, we get back. So if you want to imagine a boomerang, you're like, mm, they're boomeranging. Woo, you're going to throw it away. A frisbee, okay, that's gone. You want to do a physical action that feels good to you, okay? And if it's slightly silly, that's even better. I promise you, because then you bring laughter and joy, and that immediately diffuses any ickiness. So even if you want to just be like ridiculous, you know, you're just like, you know, I, I, I'm a dinosaur and I'm smashing all the hate. I don't care. Have fun. This is the point. I promise you, I know how this looks, and I know how silly it sounds, but I also know it works. So join me in the joy and shake it off, shake it away, and just boomerang that thing out. Just whoosh, they're getting what they're getting. That's the only revenge you'll ever need because everything is already happening perfectly. Stay in your joy, stay in your power because you are a champion and you, all you do is win.